Hello, I am Lisa with lisaferland.com, indie author, publisher, and crowdfunding consultant for authors. And um, I wanted to talk to you about sort of the differences between um, print on demand and ship on demand printing. Because when you are an indie publisher, you face this decision. Should I go with a print on demand solution? Um, the most popular one right now being Kindle Direct Publishing Print, which used to be CreateSpace, but anyway. And then there's also Ingram Spark, which has POD solutions for hardcover books. So KDB Print does not have hardcover. Ingram Spark has hardcover, and so you can do print on demand with different bindings and different trim sizes, and it starts getting a little more technical. But we're going to keep this at sort of a high level conversation because when you do ship on demand, that is when you print with a printer overseas and you do a big print run, and then you fulfill orders uh, to Amazon or to Baker and Taylor or to wherever you're selling them through a warehouse fulfillment service distributor. Okay, so when you're an indie publisher, you are taking on all aspects of the publishing process, and obviously order fulfillment is part of that process. So when someone goes to buy your book, they need to know how to get your book. It just magically appears in their mailbox, but it is up to you as the publisher as to figure out the best way to do that. If you go with a print-on-demand option, it's obviously less work for you because it's just printed on demand. When someone orders it, the printer prints it and ships it directly to your reader. So you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is publish your books. That is it. That is why print on demand is genius. And uh, KDP Print and Ingram Spark are by far the uh, cheapest solutions currently. Um, that space is always changing. Um, but they are currently the cheapest solutions and um, the least time intensive in terms of setup and management. Now, if you were doing a ship on demand option where you were ordering a print run of books and then fulfilling it separately, um, you will make more money per book. That is like a guarantee. You will make more money per book. Your profit margin is larger per book, but the amount of work that you have to do in terms of uh, finding a printer, tracking shipment, paying for shipping. When you pay for shipping overseas, it's thousands of dollars. And so you're looking at a very large bulk investment up front, and then you have to sell all of your books. So both require strategies, okay? You have to have a marketing strategy before you take on either one, um, because you either need to sell higher quantity books um, to make the same amount of money that you would in, in print on demand as you would on ship in demand because your profit margin is lower when you're doing print on demand. But your business model and your goals for publishing will kind of tell you what, what which side to go with, or you can do a combination thereof, or you can change your mind and be like, this doesn't work anymore, I'm going to print on demand. Or you can say, hey, I'm tired of print on demand, I want to do a print run and work with a printer. You can change your mind. There is no one size fits all, and where you are in your business will determine what you choose to do. So don't worry about it so much. Be like, oh, I'm locked into this print on demand solution. I can't escape it. No, you're not. You can escape it. Uh, there's easy enough things to do and then you'll link back to your Amazon page and it will be okay. So really your goals, uh, it depends on what you wanna do. If part of your publishing empire is you wanna manage all aspects of your book. You wanna manage the fulfillment and the warehouse and the distribution and the storage and all of that stuff, then yeah, do a ship on demand option. If you know that you can sell 3,000 books right away and you're not gonna pay for any storage, go for it. There are people doing that. That is, this is real life. This isn't like a dream I'm just making up that people are really doing this. If you're like, I don't know if I can sell 100 books, I don't know if I can sell 100 books, 100 books would be a dream, then I would not recommend doing a ship on demand. I would recommend a print on demand option if you are thinking of selling 100 books. If what you wanna do is just get out there and say, I publish this, I'm a published author, you wanna hold your book in your hands, then a, a print on demand option is really what works for you. I use print on demand, I love it, I live in Sweden, I do not have the time to be managing logistics and shipping and out of stock and this and that. I am not interested in that. I am interested in being creative and putting out more content 
and marketing what I already have and getting that to as many people as possible. So again, it depends on your business model, it depends on your goals, and it depends on what you want to do as a publisher. If you want to really get your hands in, around every single aspect of the publishing process, then you are, you are a good fit for Ship On Demand because that's going to require a lot of your attention and your time. If you're like, I'm not interested in all of those logistical details and I want someone else to handle it for me and I'm willing to pay for it, that's what you're doing with Print On Demand. You're paying for that extra service. You're paying for your book to never be out of stock. You're paying for the peace of mind of knowing that you don't have to process orders or fulfill orders whatsoever. So up to you. Let me know, what are you thinking? Are you thinking print on demand right now? Are you thinking ship on demand? Are you confused? Do you have any questions? Are you excited? Let me know what is going on in the comments and we'll have a discussion. Bye everyone.